What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. It's so great to see each and every single one of your beautiful faces yet again. Today it's super cold and we're going to get straight into the recipe. I'm making a goat curry because a spicy, fragrant, flavorful goat curry is one of my favorite things on a super cold, miserable day. However, I'm not miserable because I've got the juice. South African curry powder. We're going to marinate our goat depending how much you have in this special powder. We're just gonna go for it. Goat does have a distinctive smell and taste. Sometimes it puts people off, sometimes it doesn't. I love it. I think, you know, like how lamb has that lamb taste? Goat has like a gamey taste. You know, if you're soft, you don't like the flavor, wash it with vinegar or lemon, anything like that. However, I just marinate it in curry spice. If you don't have this South African one, just use any one that you have in the shop. Okay, I'm gonna give this a mix around. I've got 1.6 kgs of goat. So like I said, depending how much goat you have will depend how much curry spice you'll need. If you just work on maybe one tablespoon of curry spice for every 500 grams, that should put you in the right direction. Along with the curry spice, we're going in with salt, like an, a decent amount, and pepper. So you can think of it, if it works better for your brain, as like a dry curry rub. No oil, no nothing. You just want to make sure every piece of meat gets covered with flavor, right? Eh? You can chuck it in the fridge. You know, the longer you leave it, the better. To be honest, I'm just going to put this to the side. 20 minutes, get on with any other prep that I need to do. I'm gonna be cooking in my instant pot because to get perfect goat, you need to cook it long, okay? So fan goes on, it's already been preheating. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you could do it the same in the pot, it's just gonna take an extra two hours. So I always start my curries by blooming the whole spices. It's a bit of a Indo-Pacific as well as a South African twist. Because hands down, Fijians have the best goat curry. So my whole spices are cumin seed, mustard seed, curry leaves, green cardamom, chili flakes, bay leaf, cinnamon, black cardamom, as well as a star anise. Going in with a tablespoon of ghee or oil. If you have one of these Indian Chef 3000s, then pull it out. I'm going with all my whole spices. You don't want to burn your whole spices. You don't want to burn no spices. You burn any spices, you're fucked. The cues are mustard seeds. You can hear them popping. Cumin seeds as well do the same thing. A little bit of smoke. But the biggest tell is the aromatic nature of the spices. So once we got that, go in with onion. Mix this around. Stir it around. Everything's combined nicely. I'm cooking until the onion turns translucent. Don't be afraid to add a little bit more fat, butter, oil. It's gonna help just keep everything trucking along nicely. Onions are translucent. Can you guys have a look at that? We're ready to move on. Ginger and garlic. However much you want, okay? However much you want. Seriously, if you're a ginger fiend, if you're a garlic fiend, Add however much your heart desires, okay? Promise. It's gonna work out. And once we smell it, it's ready. This is all bone and goat too, by the way. Get that goat on the bottom of the pot, just so it cools the pot down, because you should have some bond building. And remember, we don't want to burn nothing. Don't burn nothing. Add more fat, add more oil, add more butter. Italian plum. Use whatever you have though, no stress. I'm going to add another can because we have so much goat. I'll say one can to every 700 grams of meat. Water from the goat, the water from the tomatoes, creating the gravy already. We need to extract as much tomato essence from these cans as we can, okay? 
because these are premium premium tomatoes which means they cost premium amount there's still so much essence in there guys don't waste chow that in coconut cream coconut milk chow that in the whole thing okay the whole thing it's gonna offer a lot of richness a lot of sweetness and a lot of deliciousness it's gonna change the color from like that bright fire red to a little bit more of a sunset orange chow that lid on and we're gonna go where we at pressure cook one hour 15 if you're pressure cooking if you're whipping this up in the pot two hours 15 two hours 30 medium low heat low heat even just stir around every 10 15 minutes just so nothing on the bottom burns but this is why i got the instant pot because i don't want to be doing that and just because you don't have one doesn't mean you can't make this recipe whoop your pot out get your pot out go get your goat put it in marinate it it's going to be delicious promise all right have a look at that color that juice that's all flavor right here, baby. That's all flavor right here. Jump that in. Got all over my shirt, but not the lens. So that's all good. You'll see the potato, you'll be like, oh, that's like pretty OD potato. Like, why so much potato? It's because one of my favorite things to do is thicken the curry up with potato instead of starch. You know, starch has its place, but the nutritional aspect that just potatoes give you you just mush it in, mush it in, and then that thickens up the gravy just like that. Let's have a little taste too. Let's see if the goat's cooked for first. That's good, but it needs more time. Oh, there's so much flavor in that gravy. Yum. Okay, we'll cook this for another, a further 45 minutes. So that's two hours all up in the instant pot. Today, I've got some saffron rice. This is gonna be my carb sauce, along with the potatoes. All I'm gonna do is finish it with a bit of coriander, keeping it big, keeping it whole. Just gonna freshen up the whole dish. Final dish, final presentation. Saffron rice, delicious goat curry, potatoes, soft as anything, topped with coriander. Wow. You see what I'm working with right here? You might notice an attire change. Straight from the motherland this came from, so I'm looking a little bit extra swag there than usual. Shout out to my grandmothers, man. Shout out to Jean. Shout out to Anne. We've got to get a bite with goat, saffron rice, potato, and a little bit of coriander. All right. This is for all of you watching, consistently liking me up, liking my content up, watching, feeling, tasting through the screen. Through my highs, through my lows, this one's all for you. Mm. Oh. Yum. And you just get punched in the mouth with flavor. Absolutely obliterated with flavor. Nothing too spicy, just pure flavor. Just heat. Not heat, heat. But like heat, as in like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm eating this right now. Mm. If you make this at home, and you're using bone and goat, and you use my cook times, only thing you gotta do is be careful of the bones, because they get real soft. But, man, I could not be happier. Goat just has such a unique taste. And once you've got it right, you've got it right. And these little bones are the best to suck on. Mmm. Got that bone marrow in it. Mmm. And that rice. This rice just acts as the perfect cloud. Just take a look at this bite right here. This bite right here has all my hopes, my dreams, my successes, and my pitfalls. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. This is a staple at family gatherings. Sometimes goat, sometimes lamb. I prefer goat, but if lamb's there, I'm not gonna complain. Got a Fijian auntie. Oh my God, I have never 
eight found or made anything that comes close to her go curry one can only dream seriously one can only dream that was a staple at gatherings eh? that was a staple this recipe here my recipe is an indo-pacific south african or combination mix because i'll just wait for the next gathering to have the pure 10 out of 10 go curry and just because i'm a cooking guy doesn't mean i'm a completely on my ass like bro people are gonna make shit better than you better than me 100 percent i'm just gonna enjoy it if you haven't tried goat try it if you've tried goat make it i'm gonna leave you all right there thank you for watching the content throughout its entirety smash a like comment subscribe share to all your friends all of that good stuff always helps me out and i'll see all of you guys on the next one all right Mwah.